every one of them leak, leaks, some worse than others. So they've all got to come out. Um, see the damage here? This is just because of a leaking porthole window has rotted all this away. Now, as you see, this one uh, is got a lot of rust around it. Came out quite easily. Had to grind a nut out. But this is why they all got to be taken out. There's a lot of damage. This porthole, a lot of rust. shitty and was going to replace them but then I realised that they're actually brass and um, they're probably well there's a good chance that they're a hundred years old so I um, thought well let's see if, what happens if we restore them so as you can see they're all really deeply covered in multiple layers of paint and crap uh, which is an abrasive kind of sprayer bin I don't know what you call it but cost a hundred quid and I'm hoping it's going to save me a lot of hard work. It's full of aluminium oxide, and the idea is it's an abrasive and it's going to blast everything clean. Okay, so here we are in the arse end sandwich. Um, hopefully, um, looking to see what the professionals and the professionals are. RM metal polisher have done with the portholes. Wow. And there's the result. Look at that. I've never done that in a million years. And the portholes come up absolutely fabulous. As good as I could have hoped. Now we're just fitting them with um, the very expensive yachting equivalent of silicon, which is the Sikaflex, I think. And as far as I can tell, that's just about five times as expensive as normal silicon, but hey, there you go. And we just need to go outside and put the ring on. And that was another one done. You see the one. In case you're wondering why I painted this square, it's because obviously the rest of the boat is going to be foams. So we're going to have to find some kind of like wooden surround that. Uh, protects this so you're just going to see a small amount of, of uh, the cream and the bottom hole line that holds up yep. screwing quickly and it's not going to fall onto the deck okay, last port hole in and uh, yeah must have been I think it was worth doing. Um, and in fact, I'm childishly pleased with them actually. Uh, I think they make the boat look much, much more nautical and nice. Uh, I'm giving something back as well, I think, for a 100 year old boat, more than 100 year old boat, 120 year old boat. Have its uh, bit of brass is, uh, is important. Uh, all new seals on the inside, so hopefully it won't leak. It's had new sort of roll pins on either side. And so, uh, essentially, been restored. Look half decent, don't they?